let's take a look at termination. Dismissal is a physiological and emotionally difficult process. To avoid litigation, HR leaders must follow due process procedures. Lengthy proceedings and high legal and court costs make dismissal an option of last resort. Dismissal for ineffective performance is a multifaceted problem. The system used for recruitment and selection or the variables associated with the school's culture or policies may need to be reevaluated. Incompetency has been defined as a lack of adequate skills or subject knowledge, outright neglect of duty, or physical and mental disability that prohibits the ability to perform a job. Neglect of duty refers to insubordination, that is, refusal to follow policies or procedures or obey direct or lawful orders from a supervisor. Physical or mental disabilities are grounds for dismissal. In determining whether dismissal is justified, the question must be asked, does the disability prevent the person from meeting the demands of the job or the essential functions of the job? Dismissal for just cause is a general concept, and reasons vary for instituting dismissal proceedings on these grounds. Some grounds for good or just cause are neglect of duty and unprofessional conduct. Usually, just cause dismissals revolve around the following situations behaviors that influence competencies and are evidenced in evaluation of job performance, behaviors that are against or do not fulfill the requirements of the job, behaviors defined by the organization as unbecoming of an employee. Insubordination is more than outright refusal to comply with leadership directive or to obey an administrative order. Insubordination is also interpreted as a refusal to perform reasonable and or job-related responsibilities.